Hello everyone and welcome to a new week. The Lime Rock Park chicane layout is laying ahead of us. Turn 1 and the last chicane are the key corners here. Turn 1 because it's technically difficult and you can lose a lot of time on the brakes. The last chicane because you can gain a lot of time all the way down to the finish line if you hit a solid exit. Make sure to focus on those sections in practice and let me show you how to nail a nice step. Position a car on the far left. The 2 and 100 meter boards help you to find your braking point. After a hard initial touch on the brakes, you want to reduce the pressure and transition to tray braking the further you get into the turn. It's important to move the car at the limit of the grip level. Keep this in mind when you practice and try to find your sweet spot. Turn 1 also offers the only safe opportunity for overtakes where you don't rely on mistakes of your opponents. Attack on the inside or make sure to defend your position. Extend your braking zone deep into the turn. It's also important to be patient before you get back on the throttle. You want a clean braking phase, followed by a clean acceleration phase and nothing in between. The most common mistake I see rookies doing here when I coach them is that they tend to slow down way too much. They get back on the throttle, become too fast again, which means that they have to brake. This back and forth between throttle and brakes goes on until you reach the exit. Try to avoid this by focusing on one clean phase where you slow down and one clean phase where you accelerate. Engage the throttle only when you know you will hit the exit and that's all the magic. Attack the exit curb and aim for a tight run on the exit. Keep pushing the car to the right side of the track to prepare a good entry into the next left hander. If you got a good run, you should end up around the middle right of the track. There's no brake marker around here. I point my car towards the turn and hit the brakes once I get close to the white line. Brake deep into the turn like in turn 1 and hug the inside. You want to wait and be patient on the throttle until you can attack the curb on the exit. Stick to the inside and exit on the far left. This is important because we want to use this and the next turn to stretch our run onto the upcoming straight. If you did everything right, all you need to do now is to lift a little while turning in to make the turn. By entering the turn from the far left, you will be able to carry a lot of momentum onto the straight, which saves you valuable time. Stay on the far left, hit the brakes hard and don't shift as soon as possible to get support from the engine brake and decelerate faster. Use the tree as orientation to hit the braking zone. Right onto the curb and make use of all available space the track offers you to carry more speed into the chicane. Attack the entry and hit the throttle as soon as you can. Generally you want to avoid all the red curbs. A soft hit is not ideal but it doesn't hurt you. A hard hit will hurt your acceleration and cost you a few tenths. If you drive completely over the curb or the surrounding bumps in the grass, you risk damage to your car, especially the underbody. So always think twice before you risk your race. We are heading towards the last combination. I'm using the change in the track surface as orientation for braking. Stay on the far left, point the car towards the inside curb and hit the brakes. If you are using the auto clutch assist, you might need to counter see a bit while shifting down into second. Be patient on the throttle and take your time to rotate the car. You don't want to overshoot the corner only to hit the brakes again. Attack the inside and hit the throttle as early as possible. The next straight starts around here, which means that you want to take the next turn flat or almost flat, whichever is possible in your session. You can also see that I left some unused space on the inside, which cost me about 1 or 2 tenths. I will leave this challenge up to you. You can practice against my lap, hit this turn and you will easily finish a 1.05. Let me know in the comments if you made it. Get used to the track limits and avoid the slowdown penalty at all costs. Cutting over the grass will net you a 1 second slowdown, which will hurt a lot. It's better to lift if you missed your line instead of risking it. That's the lab, I hope you learned something new. The cockpit lab with telemetry will come up next. 
Feel free to leave suggestions for other current track combinations in the comments. Please use the hashtag guide to make them easy to spot. I wish you all the best for your races and see you next time.